Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, home coach here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It's 7.31 in the evening on Monday, January 31st, 2022. 7.31 p.m. Monday, January 31st, 2022. And let's take a look at the forecast for California, Alaska, Japan, and Greece, and now Chile. We also have Chile now, too. All right. Uh, I've been working on this all day today, and um, this is a new forecast model, and uh, I found some data that I didn't know was even available. We're going to use it in conjunction with the data that we already have. So here it is. Here's the uh, new forecast model based on all the other data and other forecast models combined, actually, and uh, 17 years of research. So this is... Uh, uh, tomorrow, February 1st through February 3rd. And uh, we're looking for a strong earthquake. Um, we're gonna have to test the magnitude, uh, how, how uh, strong an earthquake is based on this new data here, but it should be, it should be at least a, a 4.5 to 5.5, 4.5 to 5.5, it could be bigger. But here's where the risk is right here down near Long Beach. You can see this uh, here shows uh, where the risk area is from Santa Barbara to Oxnard, Los Angeles, Long Beach, Costa Mesa, and Ontario, San Bernardino, all the way down to Oceanside and San Diego. It's kind of centered in the Long Beach area. So you can see right here, centered in the Long Beach area, and uh, it's most likely to hit this uh, significant earthquake here on uh, February 2nd, but the risk is out from the 1st through the 3rd, February 1st through February 3rd, most likely to hit on February 2nd, but we'll see that risk is uh, very high right there. And uh, that's where it should hit, in the Long Beach to Los Angeles area, uh, the LA basin somewhere. All right, it's very exciting, this new forecast model. Here's a, uh, our new forecast for um, Greece. And they should get about a 5.0 in Western Crete, Southwestern, Southern, uh, Southwestern uh, Greece. A 5.0 earthquake is possible uh, during the next uh, 72 hours, most likely on uh, the 1st or the 2nd of February down here in Western Crete. And we'll check up on that tomorrow. In, in Alaska, excuse me, in Alaska, the uh, risk is very high right here near Valdez. So I'm expecting a 5.5 or greater near Valdez, southeast of Anchorage during the next 72 hours. 5.5 or larger is likely near Valdez during the next 72 hours, please just uh, warn your friends and family that live in that area. Uh, very strong risk and high risk in the Valdez area, southeast of Anchorage. In Japan, you can see how well this forecast model is going to uh, work for us. The highest risk here on the 1st and 2nd of February is right near Shizuoka, Shizuoka and uh, Chiba. And you can see where these, uh, this quake just hit 4.4 uh, near Yokohama and Chiba. You can see this quake that just hit is, <coughs> excuse me, is down here right in that 70% risk area. And then the risk uh, moves here to uh, like uh, south of uh, Miyazaki, south of Kumamoto in the far southern and western portions of uh, Japan. And if you get a 5.0 earthquake down in that area on February 2nd or 3rd. Down in uh, Chile, here's the earthquake forecast for today through the 2nd. And you'll see how well this works over the next uh, months and years. You'll see how well this forecast model works. The risk level is highest right down here near uh, Concepcion, right here, south of Concepcion, right on this uh, point right here, south of Concepcion, right there. And you can see these, uh, these quakes here 
4.6 and 4.7, just south of that area, are already hitting close to where the warning area is. And that could produce a 5.0 earthquake as possible in that area. And then uh, up near 75% uh, in, uh, in Northern Chile here. So fascinating how, how well this is gonna work. And uh, just had a, a small quake here uh, west of San Luis Obispo. And that one is in the, uh, right about in this area here, just northwest of the uh, risk area. So, <coughs> excuse me, once again, looking for a uh, 4.5 to 5.5 earthquake is likely near, uh, kind of centered in Long Beach. It could be anywhere between Santa Barbara and San Diego, even in the LA basin here. And the risk extends all the way over to Ridgecrest. However, the focused risk, uh, the highest risk here is near Long Beach in the LA Basin. So looking for a strong uh, earthquake 4.5 to 5.5 in the LA Basin. Uh, during the next uh, 48 to 72 hours, most likely on February 2nd, but the risk is from the 1st through the 3rd. All right. Once again, in Greece, looking for a 5.0 larger in Western Crete. Alaska, we have a very, very strong uh, risk level here near Valdez, southeast of Anchorage, and that could produce a 5.5 or larger. And the risk level is moving into Southern Japan, Western Japan on the second and the third, and near Concepcion in Chile is the, uh, the highest risk area right now. All right. Thank you so much for um, stopping by today. Appreciate your uh, support. And uh, we will be talking to you again, uh, most likely uh, tomorrow night. And uh, we'll keep you updated. Stay safe down in, uh, in the Long Beach, LA Basin area, looking for a pretty significant earthquake there during the next 48 hours, 48 to 72 hours. And we'll check back tomorrow and see how we did. Uh, thanks again to the 187,000 followers on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And uh, we're in our 17th year of research here at uh, quakeprediction.com. And uh, every day that passes, we do uh, more research and our forecasts get better. This new forecast maps you see, uh, or a, a new forecast model that combine, combines all the data that we have until now over the last 17 years. So thanks again. And we will talk to you tomorrow, which is uh, Tuesday. Thank you so much.